you today, but this isn't your typical bench press. We're going to implement some chains. So I'm going to show you, if you can see the chain set up here, I'm going to show you a couple of the movements and see if you can figure out why we do this, how this is beneficial. So each one of these single strands weighs two pounds. And I have four strands on each side. So I have a total of 16 pounds added on when the bar is all the way at the top. And when I lower it to the bottom, the weight of the bar is staying exactly the same. Okay? Just 75 pounds minus this kind of is just weighs about a pound and a half. Okay? So as I press up, I'm adding more weight by lifting more chain. And if I want, I have extra chains, I can hook one of these on if I want to add more weight as I go. Okay? So depending on the individual, you can change the weight added. All right? So what, we, uh, what we're going to do here is make sure that the chain is on the floor when we start the movement at the top, and then when we lower all the way to the bottom of your bench press, you're going to make sure that it's, it's fully deloaded. Okay? Uh, if you decide to set it up so that the chains are floating the whole time, that's going to add more stability work because the, the, uh, the chains will kind of be swinging around and that will add some more stability strength work into your, into your movement. Okay? Also, depending on the individual, this chain here is adjustable. There's a carabiner on that and you can change the length just to make sure that the chains at the bottom um, are also at the proper length. All right? So that's chains on a bench press. Have fun with it, play around with it. There's lots of different things you can do. Get strong, have fun. <laughs> 